Hey guys, it's Morgan from the Hooptown Hotties, and today we are going to do a very complicated trick called neck breaks. Make sure you stretch before this one. I don't want anyone getting an injured neck. The first thing you're going to need is the right size hula hoop. You want to use 5 8 or 3 quarter inch tubing. Go ahead and take your large practice hoop and push it to the side. It's going to be too heavy for this trick. Start with the hoop in front of you and go ahead and stand with your feet wide apart with bent knees. It's very important that your knees stay bent in this trick. Let me just turn to the back here. I'm going to be going in a clockwise direction on my left hand. Yeah, that's how we start. The next part of this trick is getting your head inside the hoop and you really can't hesitate or be too scared here and it's not scary. You got this. Here's how we're going to do it. Notice how when the hoop is coming up and over my left hand there's this nice window of space above my hand. My hand is basically at 6 o'clock on the hoop when the hoop's coming over and I've got all this space to stick my face in and that's exactly what we're going to do. As the hoop comes up I stick my head in. I'm going to demo this just by neck hooping, bouncing on my knees after I get my head in the hoop. Try that a few times. Think about it, it's essentially your neck is replacing the motion of your hand. Make sure your knees are bent. Yeah, good job. Now for the next part of the trick, which is the breaks. Let's talk about where the hoop is going to break on your neck. I'm going to just gently place the hoop on the back of my neck, raise my right arm, and touch my chin to my right shoulder. You can give yourself a smell if you want to, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I probably should have shaved before this tutorial. Anyways, you want to make sure the hoop is sitting in that nice soft part between your neck and your shoulder blade. The hoop shouldn't be touching your chin bone. You want to make sure it's touching that corner pocket of your neck. Once you check your right side, go ahead and check your left side. Breaking the hoop is actually just trapping the hoop between your chin and your shoulder as you swing side to side. Look how the hoop is just swinging under me, side to side. The way this works is my knees bend and I'm shifting my weight from left to right. So when I'm breaking on my right shoulder, my weight is on my left foot and it's the opposite for the left shoulder. Just think whatever side you're breaking on, your weight is on the opposite foot. Here's a pro tip. Don't let the hoop do too many rotations around your neck before you go in for the breaks. Instead, put the hoop on your neck and instantly go for that right shoulder break. If you wait for too long, the hoop's built up too much speed and then your breaks will look like this. Yeah, we don't want that. Here we go, we're gonna put it all together. As you have your hoop in your left hand going clockwise, you're going to stick your head inside the hoop and go instantly for that right shoulder break. Now, the break is just letting your chin touch your right shoulder as it stops the momentum of the hoop and right now you should have all your weight on your left foot. Then you're going to release the shoulder break and you're going to switch your weight onto your right foot. That's going to help the hoop swing down and across to your left side and then your left shoulder breaks. Also, make sure you give your neck a break. Haha, <laughs> get it? No, but seriously, take pauses because this trick will definitely make your neck sore. Troubleshooting. Okay, this isn't working for you. It could actually be your clothes. Take them off. No, just kidding. But seriously, make sure that you're wearing a shirt that doesn't have like a turtleneck or maybe like a really slippery fabric that covers your shoulder. If you're just learning, it's better with your bare neck and your bare shoulder, just so you have more to grab onto the hoop. Once you have a better understanding of how the trick works, that's when you can start adding, you know, scarves and sleeves in the mix and, you know, go crazy. Is it still not working? Oh man, that's so frustrating, isn't it? But luckily, you're a pro at this and you're gonna keep practicing because that's what this takes is practice. So give yourself a break, have a little patience, and you'll be putting this on Instagram before you know it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome Hooptown University videos. And don't forget that you can hoop with us and we want you to. Please tag your videos with hashtag HoopU so we can see your progress. Can't wait. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll go break something, but not your neck. <laughs>